So, Songbird has been given the cola, and she's going to be building in the world. She's going to be building on my base, making it beautiful. Hello, my fine feathered friends. This is Songbird. A few weeks ago, Mr. Miola contacted me and asked me if I would like to renovate his base again. And of course, I was more than happy to help him out. The reason why Mr. Miola contacted me in the first place, well... I think I'll let him explain that. I am pretty content with what I put together with this base so far. But the thing is, there's no beating around the bush. It's boring. It's disgusting. It's just a lot of stone slabs with a couple pillars and a little bit of glass windowage to make it look all nice and fancy with some adobe flooring as well. I don't know, okay? It's, it's basic. It's boring. In this video, I'll give you a tour of how it all turned out. Make sure to watch until the end, where I have clips of our discussion when we walked through the base and voice chatted about it. This time around, I decided to live stream the building process and also to invite my friend Soap Goddess to come help me with the build because we have similar building and decorating styles and I've worked with her before and I know that we communicate and work well together. She also knows a lot of tips and tricks about building and decorating an arc without mods. Make sure to go to her channel as well and show it some love. These guys up then, because I was fighting so hard to get them to, to match and then it doesn't matter anyway, so. Yeah, because I haven't redone that. And the reason why I'm doing it is so I can put a half wall right here and then I'll make it match up to your little accent right but okay. yeah uh, what was i doing uh stained glass that's what i was doing. okay that looks good all right then i will go fix that bit on the other side uh also yes my base looks very different to what it looks like previously i know i'm still exploring and learning what the entire place is about um but it's it's looking pretty darn fantastic if you ask me is this going to bother you i need you to double check one thing okay. real quick i am coming because over there keeping with your accent piece right here right I snapped a wall down from the Dwarven, uh, but it is clipping into this field stone. Yeah, band. that's gonna bug me. <laughs> yep, that's what I thought. Alright, I'll fix it. Just go away. Okay. <laughs> so, where do I even begin? Uh, things look a little different behind me now, don't they? <laughs> My base has been transformed. Work Songbird and Soap Princess have been hard at work on this one here over the past few days. And um, this is the current state of my base. I actually haven't had a close look at it just yet. I just logged in the world and I am in awe of what I'm looking at. Um, obviously, that is pretty close to what it began as, I guess, with the, the stone texture instead of the upgraded stone. And that is what it's slowly turning into. Um, still a work in progress, I've been told. But oh my goodness, like what even?
Thanks so much to Soap Goddess for helping me to record the build tour footage. Some of the prettiest shots you're seeing are the ones that she recorded. She is amazing. This project took over 40 hours for two different people working on it together. If you're enjoying this, I think that merits a like and possibly a subscribe too, don't you? Yeah, it's very deep. It's very deep. But um, hey, a complex base for a complex mod. Actually, it's not, it's not that much of a complex base, but the styling looks much more complex than it was when it began. Well, you know, I like to add yeah. detail. <laughs> Lots of it. We actually had to scale back to so that it would be too laggy. That's it. That's it. It was uh, pretty crazy. Let's talk me through it. Talk me through how it all came together in that. All right. Looking at the stuff that you already had out from the Omega mod, it just kind of gave me like magic kind yep. of vibes, like a little bit fantasy looking. And so I decided to kind of roll with that as the theme and, and trying to get it kind of mix in a little bit of this corruption looking stuff from the organic mm -hmm. tech mod to just give it that little bit of a fantasy look, that little bit of a magical look, like it's supposed to be some sort of wizard's yeah, castle. Yeah, definitely gives off that vibe. So over here, we've got your crafting stations and needed some kind of a centerpiece. So yeah, we've got an extra bed here for you to respawn in this coffin oh, this bed here to reanimate yourself. Cool over here just got a little Beautiful. garden i took the jump pads out which was unfortunate uh, was that one of the lag causes i i think it's actually all the particle effects in the area yeah. so we we got rid of all of the things we could but you know omega has a lot of particle effects. i was gonna say do you like all the particle effects i added they're myself? cool <laughs> yeah so yeah i didn't realize but when you like put a whole set of armor on these mannequins it gives off the particle effect that a user gets when wearing them so that's super cool. Now, this area down here. Oh, yeah. This little fountain over here is awesome, by the way. Yeah, that was a lot of fun. I love the eco water blocks and the, mm. yeah, the, the plants from Vegetation Planters and Eco's Garden Decor really work really well with those water blocks. Yeah, that came together amazingly. Yeah. And you seem to enjoy the, the water feature from last time. Yeah. Uh, I, water features and little garden areas. And I don't know, I like a bit of like natural kind of mixing in. Okay, this is the first moment I've actually realized little photo frames um, <laughs> up at the top. <laughs> I don't know how yeah. I never looked up there. Um, wow, that's cool. And up high. Yeah, and it's on the other side too. It was because it needed Beautiful. to be symmetrical. We needed pictures on both that's sides. Awesome. And we get your garden out here with your ever so faithful mm -hmm. farming critters who still have their party hats on. Yep, there had to be <laughs> some, awesome. some remnants of the party that I missed. Definitely have to invite you to the next one. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> I've got tech elevators around. I thought about just using stairs, but they take up a lot of space and these kind of fit the magical vibe anyway. You got a lot yeah. of pets since last episode I saw. I've been but... utilizing the space, I guess. <laughs> Had to do something with it. Yeah, which is great. Absolutely. And looks like you've got some of your favorites yeah, in here. Yeah, this is in the, the like unique dinosaur room. So they're all they're all kind of special-ish, I suppose. Um, and they sleep. They sleep yeah. in my bedroom. All right. This is the yeah. This is the bedroom. Yeah. <laughs> we we added a bathtub because oh, we yeah. the mod has one. So this is cool. Uh, and if you need some healing, it actually heals you up. <laughs> that's so cool. And we had to add a silly picture up there too. So that's Snoop Dogg <laughs> as a house elf. It's beautiful. It's wonderful. And your desk yeah, over is... here with all of your your snacks and your books this and is everything. Amazing. Is this like part of the mod or is it kind of? It's a bunch of things meshed yeah. together. It's a, a couple of vanilla bookcases and two of the tables from CKFR and the, the furniture and decor crafting table from Eco's RP Decor mm -hmm. and the shelf up top from Eco's RP yep. Decor. And all the I think all the clutter is from Eco's RP Decor. And that too. leaves us with the backyard. I think, oh, no, no, this room. What am I talking oh, about? Yep. Yeah. And the, the kitchen. This one yeah. Here. Yeah, with the big silly chandelier that it just for that fun thing, yeah but yeah you've got some cool creatures in here yeah too. yeah do you like the rex dodo not a dodo rex but a rex yeah. dodo. <laughs> yes the little arms mm. just kill me they're, they're so. just so hilarious some somehow they made it kind of yeah, work there's a, there's a lot of pretty crazy hybrid things that yeah they they just work somehow things that you wouldn't imagine 
I mentioned a few times on the stream that it's kind of a good thing that you built the footprint for the castle first, you know, to give me a little bit of a limit on yeah. how far we could <laughs> sprawl. Well, that's, yeah. Not make it too I, big. <laughs> I thought I would, um, yeah, I'd, I'd do, do you a favor in doing me a favor yeah. and keep yeah. it keep it nice and compact and then um, your, your creativity wouldn't run too wild. <laughs> yes, that's great. Worked out very, very well. You had a little, is your, yeah, your little like mushroom house is still back here, isn't it? I, um, yep, I removed yep. the beds um, because yeah, I, I saw that respawning <laughs> at them <laughs> and then I was like, okay. all right, I'm going to. I'm gonna get That's rid of that. fine. So I, it was really fun though mixing these different building mods. I hadn't used this particular mix of mods before mm -hmm. ever, so that was that was fun getting to mix the CKFR with the dwarven structures and the, the stained glass from the Eco's Garden decor, mm. which was one of the ones you already had on here. No, it's really cool. I, yeah, it's it's a nice little like mix of different styles, I suppose. Yeah. Well, thank you for coming. Yeah, and... I didn't do nothing. Thank you for. Yeah, giving us a little bit of feedback on this. <laughs> it's great. Thank to... you for building it. You I mean, I should be the one. I'm the gracious one. I, yeah, <laughs> not the other way around. Well, I was, I'm very grateful for the opportunity to collaborate awesome. always. So I, I appreciate that. You are very welcome. If you're curious about how any part of this build came together, the stream recordings are still on my channel and Soap Goddess's channel. Click here to watch the live stream of the crazy little party that we threw in Mr. Miola's house while he was away on vacation. If you watch this all the way to the end, please leave a mushroom emoji in the comments to let me know. It'll be our little secret signal.